Welcome to Boys episode 147. Jesus, we're so close. We're eclipsing the 150. Speaking of eclipse, did you see that weird ass what was a wormhole eclipse or something that happened the other night? I wasn't here. Oh, you weren't here. We'll get I mean, into you could have seen it in the world. It was all over the <laughs> goddamn planet. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's flat, it's a, it's a centralized flat earth where it's just each city has its own equinox. <clears throat> There's no moon in Chicago. All right. Hi. We're going to get right to the Jesus. episode, but first, a bit of business. Boyspodcast.com, you know this. It's a hub of all things boys. There you'll find links to our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as the golden donate button at the top. Shoot us a few bucks if we bring you entertainment week after week. We'd sure appreciate you. Again, that's boyspodcast.com. Boys is available on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, YouTube, Spotify. Spotify. What was that Oprah fucking? I mean, seriously. You get a Spotify and you get a Spotify. <laughs> We're on fucking Spotify. You got to search us all one word. Boys podcast. Pretend it's 2003. We, we admitted the X's on each side yeah. for this. For this one. Proud to be there. Leave a review on iTunes. Subscribe. Yeah. Donate. Click that donate button. We got some more things. Uh, get some more stickers. Going to get some more merch. But. That merch costs money. I know. You like those t-shirts? Like those badass t-shirts we got? We you're, wanna... you're wearing one right now. I am wearing It's kind of laundry day. but okay. It's not... Oh, okay. You never want to be All that right. guy that wears your own band. Boom roasted. Like, yeah, like, roast yourself. Wear your band t-shirts in public, you know? Oh, I am Dude, that I, guy. Yeah. Are you kidding I don't me? Know, I feel weird about it. Uh, I had to look down to make sure I wasn't wearing that. I, you, I, am, I am wearing... You're wearing that hit movie you were in, Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, dude. Uh. <laughs> uh, Car okay. crash. I'm so. gonna email us. Uh, email us at boys at boys podcast at boys at boys podcast dot com. Has it been too long, Dylan? It's been yeah, been okay. a while. Yeah, yeah my bad. Um, send us some feedback, and we have some new stickers, so we'll send those to you. We have an assortment, so you'll get a grab bag. It'll yeah. be awesome. You yeah. can adorn. You can stick them up. They're real stickable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, T uh, tried and true. Thank you to our sponsors, Anthem Brewing, anthembrewing.com, makers of high-quality beer to drink. Check them out. New stuff coming all the time. Loyal sponsor to the show from day three. Thank y'all so much. Also, Fat Bison, maker of high-quality wooden signs to view, to feel, to enhance your life. That's fatbison.com. Tell him boy sent you. He'll probably shave a little off the top, and I ain't talking a planer, if you know what I'm saying. Wow. God. That was nice. Lastly, Champion Vintage. What's the Instagram? Champion Vintage OKC. Just check them out. Look them up. Tell them boys sent you. Yeah. Again, just tell the world. Boys sent me here. Yeah. And thank, thank you. Thank all of you for listening, for, for your donations that you have given us, your feedback, your retweets, your regrams, your re Facebooking if you're a grandma on, or still on Facebook. Like, post share? Like me over here. Yeah. Reposting. Thank, and continue. Keep it up. We might uh, we might throw something your way if you continue to repost. If we see a chronic repost, our no. guest arrived. Oh, he's here. On with the show. Oh. All right, we're here with Baylor Judd. Hello. We were just talking dog diarrhea. Oh yeah, sick pups. Yeah, man, it happens. Life, dude. That both sounds like punk band names. It, they were both playing we were talking about bands. <laughs> dog yeah. diarrhea and sick you, pups. You have an old dog. Yeah. I have an old dog. You can't teach him new tricks. I got no. an old dog. You got an, You have one old dog. Charlie's an old dog. Yeah. yeah. And it's sad, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's when the circle of life is happening right in front of you, it makes me never want to own another animal, man. I know. Walking home, first thing, you know, had a great night at the bar. Walk right into just diarrhea everywhere. So, oh, well, there goes my buzz. Welcome home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but, you know. It is. It's a, It's like a mini microcosm of mortality. Yeah. Because, you know, dogs don't live that long. Yeah. My dog's 14, man. She's knocking on heaven's door. Yeah. She's a sweetie. She's still very vivacious and wonderful, but she has to wear a diaper now, man. Yeah. And we discussed this on a couple weeks episodes ago it's but a it's cute weird. diaper though at least you it's know it's cute. got that little skirt with it it's yeah. adorable she, it, but she doesn't have a tail so it starts to sag uh. and it looks like she's wearing jinkos <laughs> and uh so we have like four new nicknames for her yeah. diaper ass uh pee pee panties yeah. jinkos we got all kinds of great names for her so that's good that's the silver lining of the yeah. of we've the got a, we've got a dog in panties right now too but she's in heat oh, oh yeah that's different yeah this but is the first diaper still still pretty adorable 
What kind of dog? She's like a pit mix. Okay. No. Um. And yeah, we just we keep we keep pushing back. Like, all right, we're gonna get her spayed. And then something else comes up sure. in life. And then all of a sudden she's having another heat. And it's like, crap, we really need to get this figured out because I'm tired of puppy period. I, yeah, I could have another imagined. punk band name. Right. <laughs> puppy period. Dude, that, shit gets, that shit gets wild. I've never had a dog that was like in heat, but I've had a cat. And uh, they get so like, horny, dude. It's weird. Yeah. They're They're like, like, oh. my, <laughs> I, I had a little a little lady cat. And she would sneak out of my house and, but she wouldn't, she never like had kittens. And one day I caught her and she's literally just like sitting on top of a, uh, like a little like shed and there was no shit, like 10 male cats just like surrounding the shed. <laughs> and she's just sitting up there giving zero fucks. I'm like, oh, you yeah. have the all the control right now and the i just power yeah i had yeah. to like throw pussy sticks power. at these cats the and grab my cat power. and bring her inside like dude yeah. you're about to get destroyed can't let that happen it's it like were they so were scary. they all lining up for the gangbang or were they all just like <laughs> like no i'm courting her today uh, yeah I, i'm look at how big and fluffy i am compared yeah. to these small cats like yeah. i can provide better offspring <laughs> or was it just like all right guys on three we're going yeah right and then I We're walk in. Down. I'm gonna go for the ladder. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure. And then I walk outside. I'm like, I can. I'm providing her food every day. Yeah. Your cats get the fuck out of my house. Like <laughs> you know? probably come out like this monolithic beast, and they're yeah. just like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. just like, ah! And I'm just throwing sticks around them. Like I don't want to hit a cat with a stick, but I'm gonna scare it off. Dude, next time, just come out with your dick in your hand. <laughs> Jerk off all over uh, those cats. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm a top cat around yeah. here. Yeah, I could. That yeah. No. No? Yeah. No. On second thought. I don't think so. Absolutely not. That is weird. That's a YouTube video <laughs> waiting to happen. Oh, like, yeah. guy jerks off at cats. And like, hey, take a look at what off. my neighbor's doing. This <laughs> yeah. is bizarre. Her, j- jerk off at, at cats. cats. At cats. Yeah. Yeah. Two yeah. cats. Yeah. No, not two cats. But I, he's jerking off at, at them to get like them. Like, in their direction. I never yeah. heard. Okay, I've heard. I've never heard. Is that a ver- action verb? I've never. <laughs> I've, I've heard of jerking off on yeah. or to something. Or around. But yeah. never at. At yeah, yeah. that's for dominance. Very aggressive. You, you, you don't jerk off at someone you care about. You jerk off at someone you're trying to like, intimidate. Like a, like a <laughs> or defense mechanism. I think, yeah. I think that's the. Yeah. I think that's the only way you could do it towards an animal, though, yeah. without it being bestiality. Right. Yeah. You I was know? gonna say any other way would be super weird. Yeah. Right. Like so, a, like but a, if you're doing it at this group of ten <laughs> male cats <laughs> around your female cat, yeah, like, Go it on, is, yeah. yeah, it's asserting it's asserting dominance. It's putting the totem pole into reference. Yeah. You know? I, I remember. When I was a kid, we would take a we would take like a a soap like a hand pump soap mm-hmm. dispenser, and you'd turn it around and you'd hit the top of it, and you'd uh-huh. like shoot the soap. It was oh, big shit. at church camp. Yeah, I'm just imagining that exact like <laughs> dynamics and velocity. <laughs> right. yeah. It's like the only time you can just shoot like you know like small little loads all at once. Right. You know, you're, just like, you're just like holding onto it, and you're like nah. nah. <laughs> Mine would look like the spread gun in Contra. <laughs> No, but sadly, in the reality of it, it would just be like you're going through jerking, just dribbling. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, yeah. cats! And then all the cats laugh at you. Yeah. yeah. Like, or what just, the fuck is this dude doing? Claw you. Josh left the sink on. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in a band called Clams. I am. With yeah. a K and a Z. With a K mm-hmm. and a Z. And how long have you guys been doing this? Um, Coming up on three and a half years, I think. Cool. Yeah. We, uh, we started, me and Jack started it. Um... I want to say late summer, about three years ago. Was that 2016? Mm. Yeah. It had to I haven't, I haven't put the dates like together. Yeah, I started <clears throat> thinking of that on the way over here, and I was like, I hope I don't get grilled for like dates and shit, because I'm horrible <laughs> at anything that comes to memory. Well, actually, we're going to run through the entire discography, and I'm going to ask where yeah. every song came from, who it's about. <laughs> okay. And uh, Good thing it's, it's a huge discography at the moment. Yeah. So. What we'll are you working on, on now? I know you're playing shows. Are yeah. you recording? What's what's in we, the plans, man? So we're about to release this first uh, EP on Saturday. Sick. And we've already got another four songs being mixed right now that we're going to release another, a secondary EP, we're thinking September. So this first one's called Smoke. Next one's going to be called Mirrors. I so like kind it. of like, you know, ah, smoke and mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> Our first two EPs, we might eventually put them together so you have a smoke and mirrors combo, or we just might leave it separately and just have that stupid little gag to ourselves. 
Um, but it was, you could, know, it, could it be a boys exclusive? Like you only <laughs> said it here. Yeah. Why not? So yeah. they have to put two and two together. Yeah. I, I like those names because it's, it's obviously smoke and mirrors, like, you know, magic tricks, whatever. But I'm also thinking smoke, like either a cigarette or like, like, you know, weed. I'm doing the international sign for, <laughs> yeah, the international yeah. weed token weed, sign. Weed. <laughs> and mirrors is obviously for cocaine. Yeah. That's it, literally exactly what. Okay. We, well, cause isn't the EP, uh, a pack of cigarettes? Yeah. It's basically, Oh yeah, it's damn, basically we so we did the artwork to magic. make the cassette look exactly like a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, dude, oh, see, it's tight okay. and it's like it's on a cassette tape and yeah, it's just so clean, dude. That's we, so cool. We're I, really proud of it. We're really excited about it. It's on smoke cassettes exactly. and it's oh called Smoke. God. Dude, this is clean. I love a cassette. I love like, feeling mm-hmm. listen. You mm-hmm. That's a cassette sound right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you only hear that. That's classic beautiful. sound. We're, so but yeah, man, we're super excited. We've been we recorded with uh, Tal and Dennis and Lane Hill, so just a house studio, so really comfortable. Yeah, Jack and Jack went to school with Talon, and you know went to high school, and so they've been buddies for a long time. I've known Talon almost as long as I've lived up here, probably about eight nine years, and so it was just a real comfortable environment, and just you know we're, everybody's getting high and laying down tracks and so when we were talking about the idea of smoke it was exactly that it was like these songs are this first one smoke is like a little bit more punky a Mm -hmm. little more polished so we're like we'll just call it smoke uh and then the mirror side is going to be our little more little more heavy a little more rock and roll side of it It was like well that's that's that like cocaine vibe yeah Yeah, you know and First, I thought you were going to be like, it's going to be more in the like disco kind of yeah. <laughs> Sick. Not yet. <laughs> but no, we're really, ex- it's, it's weird being in a band three and a half years. And like, we just printed shirts the other day and like all this merch is like coming together and it's, it's awesome. You know, I haven't done, I haven't done this much with a band in a while. So it's, it's really exciting. It seems like you guys are taking your time <clears throat> doing it because I mean, you're both, you're all crazy busy doing other shit. Like. You oh, bartend, yeah. you run a karaoke thing. Yeah. I feel like uh, you're doing karaoke every damn day. Yeah. It's three like three days is, a week. Man. Yeah. It's, that's, it's tight. It's, yeah. And we all, you know, we're all in, we all bartend. Right. So live in the nightlife. So then trying to like get a practice together, mm-hmm. you know, we never do it before and then book noon, shows. you know, it's, it's never before noon. It's always between the twilight hours of, you know, three and six o'clock. Yeah. It's like hurting clams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and. Oh. Is that a thing? Hurting. Yeah. Hurting. Is so. that sexual? Ooh. I mean, last week, man, I was hurting clams. Oh, hurting, <laughs> not hurting. Oh. No, hurting. Hurting. You're bringing in all the puss. Hurting oh, clams. Wow. Uh, wow. Back to the cat thing? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. The, the cool thing about bands and also the sucky thing about bands, we've all been in bands. We got, mm-hmm. we, that's what we have in common. Mm-hmm. Hey, I like your phone case. Do you get that at the Barbie store? Ooh. It's purple. Dude, yeah. sick bird. And, and damn. And pink. <laughs> oh, that was a nice one. Sorry, I love you. <laughs> it matches our boys' stickers. <laughs> you know? Anyways, uh, the thing about being in bands is I remember this feeling so well. Like, you get to band together, you get the shirts made, you get the EP or the album done, and it's like, this is going to last forever. But then sometimes it doesn't. And when, when that feeling goes away, like when, when it's like, okay, this is inevitable, it's time to break up. Mm-hmm. It's like the worst feeling in the world. But then you go on and you, you do your next band. Yeah. And then it starts all over again. Well, and that's, that's almost what happened to Clams. Like our original bass player, Joel Karam, uh, <clears throat> he had a baby. We knew, you know, obviously nine months before the baby was born, we knew that it was happening. And so we all kind of talked about it. You know, it was like, you know, are you going to be able to keep trying to continue the band? He's like, man, I'll, I'll see, but you know, who knows? It's the first kid. It's like, man, you know, we'll give you breathing room. We'll let you figure it out. I think we played, I think his last show was like a month, month and a half after baby was born. Just can't, and then, can't do it anymore. Yeah. And then clams just kind of stopped for a while. We never actually sat down and had a conversation about it. And then me and Jack just started talking like, Three months later, four months later, like, you know, what do we want to do? And I was kind of starting to get the itch of wanting to play guitar again instead of drumming. So then we started thinking about a completely making a completely different band. Um, but we kept getting offers for clam shows. People just kept being like, hey, we want you on. We want you on. And we, we turned away a few. I think we brought in Matt Jewett to play bass for one. Um, just kind of strung it along there for about six months. And then we finally, uh, Jack had been talking to Houston like while he while he'd see him working at the blue note or whatever and just like you know hey 
would you want to come play bass with us? Me and me and Jack originally were thinking that we'd bring him in for bass for this new project. But then we had a clam show booked and then Houston learned all the clam songs. And it really like after that first practice, me and Jack just kind of looked at each other and we're like, well, shit, like we're liking clams again. Like this is awesome. It's been, you know, several months since we've really done anything and it just kind of lit a fire under all of our asses. And so it's just been rolling since then. That's so, a re- that's a really good feeling when it's collective. Yeah, but like when it's one person that gets the fire, like yeah. come on guys, come on, and and everybody else is already like kind of over it. Like no, no, yeah. no, come yeah. on, no, come on, no, come on. It feels no, like on. we started the band only you know a year year and a half ago. Yeah, but we are you know three and a half year old band. Well, I was gonna say I saw when I saw you playing bass on the big stage at Norman Music Fest. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I saw clams that year too. You were playing, I think, behind played, guest room. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, that was a wild. I mean, that was what two years ago. Yeah, yeah. two years ago. Yeah, and it's 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 crazy how time has passed, especially for me. You know, I was in three bands there for a while, so like everything just got everything was just swamp water in my brain. It was, everything was all the same thing. Now, were you drumming in all three, or was it a mixed bag? Um, at first, I was drumming in two, guitar in. One, I played guitar in your mom starting off and then Ouch. drums in clams and shut a mad Jewett. And then it switched to guitar in, I think both your mom and shut a mad Jewett, just drums and clams. And then I, I finally made the switch to drums in your mom left shut a mad Jewett. Now I'm just drums in both those bands. Nice. But it's like, there's so many shows like Jewett will be like, Hey, do you remember this date? And I'm like, no, that was <laughs> with you. That wasn't with, your mom or Cl- like all of it is just so <laughs> jumbled. Blur. My memory is shit, you know. So, dude, that shit is so hard, especially when yeah, you're like you've been booking. in a couple bands. Yeah, especially when you're like time. booking, you know, multiple shows with multiple bands, and then like it's so easy to forget that you have a show next week <clears throat> with that band, and it's like, hey, yeah, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna practice today and tomorrow for the show on Saturday. It's like. Oh, crunch time, like Like, straight up crunch time. Well, like with most of the bands, like if I'm like most of the bands that I was in, like we we would practice every week, sometimes twice a week. So it's like it was just like you would just forget. It's just like, fuck, uh, I didn't take off work. I I, got to do that now. Like shit. But it's really easy to forget shit like that. The hardest thing for me, especially when I was when I'm mostly the drummer. I, you know, show up to one band practice and be like, all right, Baylor, kick it off. And I've got like, you know, 25 different songs <laughs> yeah. worth of intros, like running through my head. I'm like, wait, what, uh, what the fuck is this one today? Yeah, play, dude. play the riff real quick. All right. Yeah, that's all the, right that's cool. a classic. Yeah. That's a classic drummer quote. <laughs> Could you play? Just you play, play like the, two seconds of it. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, okay. No, I got it. That's well, why I've always liked being in bands where like it starts off with like a guitar riff or like yep. a bass line. Oh, like, I love that. When, 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 since we're all here. Almost every song started with Wayne playing like basically the chorus, half of the chorus on guitar, like that one. Yep. Okay, mm-hmm. that way because if you're a little tipsy at a show, like I don't know which one's that. Yeah, it's, it's the tip off. Or you could start it like every Ramon song, which is like one, two, three, Bob. <laughs> yep, dude, and you just do a beat, and well, hopefully it matches. Yeah, that just happened so coming many times. at cats at that. That point, had to but... have been super confusing, but also really <laughs> relaxing because yeah. it's yeah. like, well, I'm I'm in the ballpark because we're the Ramones and. Everything is almost the exact same. Yeah. So I'm just gonna one, two, three, four. All right. I'm just gonna you know cool. Yeah. This, this four four beat works for this right this well, moment right now. You wait until can, and the guitar parts are probably gonna be the same. For, exactly. For a bit, until you hear Johnny Ramon like start singing, and you're like, oh, okay, it's this. that's what it is. It's yeah. I want to be sedated. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now <laughs> I got it. Now then, I know when to throw those crash hits. In. Yeah. Then you do that classic move, which I'm sure we've all done, where you start and you hit that A and you're just like. Whoop. And you yeah. just slide it down to G. You're like, oh, oh, been there. started it a step yeah. up. Sorry about that. You yeah. Know, those intentional bends. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> this is on purpose. <laughs> it was a test. <laughs> I'm a much better guitar player than I let on. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm curious. So what started you doing karaoke, man? I was <laughs> I was going to karaoke five yeah. nights a week. Well, duh, yeah. I was, yeah. I was following. I, there's this guy, Chris, who hosted at Cookies like three nights a week and like. 
a couple karaoke other places. Rad, dude. And so I was it's just, I was going spot. all the time, man. I was a lot like, of dark things happen oh, at yeah. Cookies Karaoke. <laughs> I was, I was just a whore for being on stage. You mm-hmm. know, the yeah. three bands wasn't enough. <laughs> I, mean, I needed I more. Sing a terrible <laughs> elevator version of a song, <laughs> but it turned into, you know, I just, I'd go even if. You know, my wife or friends weren't going out with me and I'd just like sit at the table next to him while he was hosting just because we were buddies. And and then that turned into, hey, man, I got to go drop one in the bathroom. Can you like host for like five minutes? I'm like, yeah, you taught, you know, he taught me enough of the computer stuff. And then that turned into, hey, man, can you cover for me for a night? We got an extra gig that I got to go do. And then that turned into I got offered a job because uh, he was about to lose his gigs. So he offered it to me to help out. And then I realized, man, I'm making half the money that I could be making because I'm using your equipment. And so Guitar Center gave me a credit card. And oh, I, the rest is oh. history. I abused the fuck out of it. And now I'm, you know. But you got what you needed. Yeah. To start this journey as the ultimate karaoke host. Right? It was a, quote, business expense. Yeah, yeah, yeah an investment. And it was, it, it was so bizarre because, you know, I've been doing it. Like, this month, I think, is four years that I've been doing it at Blue Note. Blue Note was one of my first gigs there. And, and I think it was cookies four days a week and Blue Note one day a week. Five days a week. It was nuts. Um, and then left cookies. Only had Blue Note. Got it at pump. It was starting, like, I was in between jobs, too. So I was like, do I want to go back to five days a week karaoke? Because it's hard. I mean, it's the easiest job in the world, but... When it's just me, I don't really have anybody to cover for me. It's well, not yeah. like I can just call out to go <laughs> oh, go play yeah. a show. So doing five days a week was really hard because it's like, shit, if I do Sunday through Thursday and try to play shows Friday, Saturday, it's like, that's just all I have. Dude, I was such a simpleton just then. I was like, yeah, man, I, I totally understand. What if you had to pee? Not missing no. a night. Like, <laughs> that's it's like, dude, kinda... you just put on Inagata De Vita. Dude, I live my life three minutes at a time. Just like a DJ, man. <laughs> dude, when I smoked cigarettes i mean even like at the bunker club i can't vape inside but so it's literally three minutes at a time it's like all right this next song is like four and a half minutes i'm gonna go pee and i need a beer and i got time to like step outside and take a few drags from a cigarette it's weird like living so small increments of time at at, at a time do you have certain songs like mapped out like because you know there's, there's the karaoke you go to is that everyone sings oh, yeah. so if you're like well, I know that time after time is <laughs> three minutes, 25 seconds. I have to, oh, I, yeah. this, I, the, as soon as you get to like, this is the last course. I got to get back. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest one right now, a uh, very popular song, What's Up by the Four Non Blondes. That's I, I want to say it's about four and a half minutes. It's, it's, so a, like, it's a good yeah. It's got a good yeah. good length and it it almost instantly starts up with vocals. So like I always obviously get like somebody's vocal level set and listen to it for like 15 seconds then i'm like all right now i can step away because everything you know it's on autopilot at that point so that one's a good one because they start singing almost immediately so i can get them dialed in and then it's like all right now you know if i gotta go drop a load in yeah. two and a half minutes like it's rough but i can make it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like you know bohemian rhapsody gets sang a lot so that one's like all right hell i can i can drop a dude grab a beer and smoke half a cigarette you might be and, running and in. I might be do the guitar solo. Yeah. You know? so when, you, when you were doing it five nights a week, was it was that your only gig? That was it. Okay. They're there for gosh, almost, so that was paying almost the bills. a year. Yeah, and so when I when I stopped it, I didn't want to go back to five nights a week because it was just. I mean, I don't know. It was too That's much. a lot of other it, people singing. It was a lot. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know. And so then I just like I got the I got the gig at the pump, and then I started working at the pump. I started bar backing there. And so that was like a good balance. And I started doing like one night, one, like once a month at like high low and just doing like small little gigs and then uh, bunker open. So now it's, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every single week. And I bartend Friday and Saturday. And it's like this weird like loop. I'm always in a bar, but I'm hardly like I drink during karaoke, but right. it's like people you're are like, man, tanked. yeah, people yeah. are like, man, you're out partying all the time. I'm like, no, really like I'm working. I'm dude. just working. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I get to go out Thursday nights and Sunday nights. And if a show comes through and I don't have to take off work, like hell yeah, I'm going to go get hammered. Right. <laughs> yeah. So like, you said, oh, go ahead. Man. No, go ahead. I was like, that'd be like telling a bartender, man, you're at the bar a bit. <laughs> yeah. I fucking work here. <laughs> <Yeah>. dude. Yeah. <laughs> so you said, uh, four non blondes. What's going on is, yeah. a, is a popular one. I, I, you brought up karaoke go tos, and I'm mm-hmm. curious what are the popular ones now, and what are the ones that have stood the test of well, time? Well, so when I first started hosting karaoke like four years ago, 
and it might have just been because I was at Cookies too. Cookies a little bit older of a crowd. Oh yeah. So it was a lot of uh, a lot of seventies, eighties, and like nineties, but like not really anything past nineties. Um, and and you know, I was, and Blue Note was like completely different because it's a younger crowd, and so that was a lot more nineties, and you know, two thousand shit. But I've literally noticed a change in like the past two years. 90s stuff isn't getting sang as much anymore. Now it's literally early 2000s pop punk. So like if somebody sings Fall Out Boy, you better believe the next four people that come up to sign up to sing are singing My Chemical Romance, Taking Back Sunday. Like, Sick. Dude, and it, it, it'll turn into an emo night at the drop of a hat. And like there's there's people that are like 35 plus in the bar. Like what the fuck is going on? What are all these so kids whining funny. about? I'm 37. I've been like... Fuck, I was going to sing that. I was next. I was going to yeah. do that. And you got to go change it. Yeah. You could tell the people that just like feel so out of place. They're like, I just was like hoping for an, an enjoyable evening at the bunker on a Tuesday. And With then, some steely dance. Yeah, and then something. somebody starts <laughs> screaming. I'm not okay by My Chemical yeah. Romance. <laughs> but it's fun. It's weird. Like, you'll see trends. If somebody sings a 90s song. At least two other 90s, three other 90s songs. Mm-hmm. Same, same with like the, the emo shit or just... The only thing that doesn't trend is like classic. Like I sing classic rock all the time because that's right. what I was raised yeah. on. It's right. easy. It's in your blood. Man. Everybody yeah. knows it. Like people can sing along. So it's just it's you know I'll sing some Bowie or some Fog Hat or you know whatever. Now that's that was my second question. Do you have any like uh, party starters? You know some warm ups, some, um, some selects. Some oh, you as a karaoke host, it's your job to start the party. Yeah, like, and typically I'll try to start. A little slow, let let people into is ease into it. Unless it's just like I, if I step in the door and the bar is busy, it's like all right. Uh, a big song that I like doing, uh, "Stroke," uh, yeah, "Stroke" by, uh, oh fuck. Uh, uh, now is that "Stroke Me"? Yeah, stroke that one. Me. I yeah. thought you were gonna say "Stroken" by Clarence no, Carter. That is a great <laughs> song. Great yeah, song. Great song. <laughs> or anything by the Strokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also but good. but yeah, "Stroke." Who? Um, whatever. It's not Peter Gabriel. Fuck. I thought it was Ario uh, Speedwagon. Dude, Ario is great. Keep okay, on loving Okay, you. now, where does, speaking of, you said Peter Gabriel, so I'm going to bring it back around to Genesis, okay? Yes. And then I'm going to bring it to Phil Collins. This is solo, <clears throat> first solo album. Does In the Air Tonight get sang a lot, or is that not no, popular? Not really, no. Really? Dude, it does so, when I go to karaoke. Okay, only when you're there. Like, okay. I pick that song at least <laughs> once throughout the night. It's like, well, I got to do this, for sure. What about Genesis, I Can't Dance? Never had anybody. Wow, we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna start a trend. Yeah. 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 Can we do the like? Yeah, the cheesy. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's a good is that song, that man. One, right? Yeah, I'm on a big. Yep. I'm on a big Phil Collins kick dude. right now. He's. he's I've been get. I've been getting real into Genesis. Dude, their first dude. Spotify album? is the greatest thing in the world because like albums that I didn't have access to as a kid. Oh, dude. oh yeah, they're a- right anything. there. Anything, and you don't have to fuck with Napster. No, it's so cool. It's just I just go to it. Yeah, it's completely legal, and it's right here at my fingertips. Josh brought me. uh Genesis first Genesis's first Genesis. album Abacab. Sounds so weird. Oh, okay, I think it's their first. Is that their first album, or yeah. it's like their? Is it their breakthrough album, uh, or is it their first album? I'm fairly sure, certain that it is. But okay, I'm gonna look it up. Well, no, because they did, they did some weird sh- shit. Was that their first album? Maybe with Philly C on Philly vocals. C? Philly C. No. Mm. Yeah. Sounds like so, a really good sandwich. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, Josh brought me that record, and I have been. What do they say? Wearing the groove out? Is that what they say? Wearing the needle down. Wearing Wearing the the needle needle down. down. That's what it is. I just made that up. It could be a saying, but it sounds good. It is. We're gonna it is now. We're gonna make I'm gonna start saying that all time. So would that be would that if you if you you don't go out a a lot, Robbie, ever but but if you were to be in a bar and there was karaoke, (laughs) would you go ask the DJ, just just by chance, do you happen to have in the air tonight or do you happen to have i'm sure they have it oh, yeah. ilbt's uh, i love big tits by joe walsh that Ooh. would be my second favorite i don't yeah. think i've got i don't think i've got that one but my god that would be a good one well you can just come up and like mouth the guitar wow wow but here's the thing <laughs> it, i don't think anybody could do that because of the kind of ta- yeah the society not, we live in like there's so many songs you can't really do at karaoke these days because of that it's it's it or is, is it art at that point? Well, it's so this came up the other day. Like a, a guy was singing, wow. I believe I can fly by R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. And like, oh, this girl, like yeah, a, a friend of mine was like looking at me across the bar and was like trying to give me like the, oh, you know, what are you doing? And at first I thought she was trying to tell me like, hey, I can't really hear him. So like, I'm like, up, so I'm like man. turning his vocals up and stuff. <laughs> she finally comes up and he's like, are you really letting him do R. Kelly right now? I was like, look, this is karaoke. This is not politics. Car- R. Kelly is not in here singing it. It's right. this guy. Right. I'm like, 
Like, was it R. Kelly? No. By chance, he might be I mean, I don't now. know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and like, you know, some people have asked about Michael Jackson, too, in recent days. And it's like, look, I'm not... I, I, I don't ever want to tell anybody no. You're not the right. fun police. Yeah, you know? and it's like if you if you're using my karaoke mic to make a political statement, all right, uh, I'm going to get you the fuck out of the bar. You're, you know? you're lame, like, and you should stay home. Yeah, like I do. yeah, it's like we're all here to have fun, and if you if you can't appreciate the musical value of "I Believe I Can Fly," <laughs> while also disassociating with how much of a piece of shit R. Kelly is, right? It's like there's Space Jam, and then there's peeing on little girls and it's like those are two completely yeah. different things. so different yeah so different yeah yeah they're, they're just they're the just same. united <laughs> by one song unfortunately yeah. you know what about so, uh barbara streisand now you gotta add her to oh, the list yeah. what did she do she came out and said something about michael jackson how you oh, know yeah, that's it's, just what he did yeah it's like he was that was dismissing what? it yeah <laughs> trying to it wasn't it something like that was just his sexual preference yeah it was That's not like, yeah, it was, nah. she got a little bit of what they call the backlash over that. I, so, here's uh, the thing, though, man. Yeah. Throw her in the pile. Isn't it just a matter of time till sadly it gets to that in society where it's. Oh, God. Here's another you one. You can't kink shame somebody. Uh, kink, you oh. can if. If it's pedophilia. Your, if it's, yeah. Yeah. You know what they said in the 1950s? You can kink shame if you want to fuck another man because that was the thing. And then now it's. it's you it's know what I mean? It's just like. You can't Ooh. fuck a kid. I know. Ever. You just can't. Hey, put me I mean, on the I, list of for sure. hell no. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I know you're, you're not like. List, all right. I know you're not defending it, but it's just like if I ever like check the news one day and mm -hmm. they're like, "Hey, it's cool to do this in Colorado." Mm -hmm. I'm out. <laughs> right. No pass. Yeah. No. Like, oh, oh, it's getting well, there. Uh, By so, the way, Abacap was their twelfth album. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Wait, wait, their Christ. first album was released in uh, 1969. It's Holy from, shit, I didn't know they were on that Genesis long. to Revelation. Go down Which, to by the way, from Genesis to Revelation the is the greatest first yeah. album. So good. Like, I'm all right, sorry? your band name is already Genesis, and you're just like, well, first album from Gen Genesis to Revelation. Like, that's a bold no, no, statement. It's yeah. almost as good as Smoke and Mirrors. Hey, I Let's mean, we're honest, man. They're, I get that yeah, they're kind up? of <laughs> hand in hand. Go back to their albums. Or, well, no, I wanted to go to this. Hold on. Okay. I just wanted to see 11th album. Okay. Do, do, do. No, you're good. I just wanted to see, uh, do, 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 mostly positive. Okay. I just wanted to see if it was the first one with uh, Phil on. Oh, well, no. I can look that up okay. separately. I was going to say, go back because like, the, okay, 1978 says, and then there were three. Can I see the title before the, the go back to 77 and back? Okay. So I'm thinking that when we were... Now they're three, whatever the fuck. Yeah, was them three. basically like we kicked that fucking dude out. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that, that would be a fuck you. Yeah, to Damn. name your album right? that after I you think kick that might someone be what out. It is. Well, I I think I mean you, Robbie. You looked it up the other day that Peter Gabriel left because he was like, I want to do my own thing. He also had a spiritual enlightenment. That's right. Yeah, yeah he was on he a lot of drugs. Sledge. He discovered his sledgehammer. <laughs> right. <laughs> now this one is pretty lame. Can nursery we be honest? Crime? Nursery. I like the way crime? they spelled crime, though. Hold on. Yeah, I don't want to like take that. us off topic, but that looks like a Marilyn Manson album title. <laughs> right. <It's like laughs> nursery. Before they got famous, like their first EP was called <laughs> Nursery Crime. Yeah. Speaking of Manson, I'm actually rereading his autobiography right yeah. now. I read it when I was in high school. Came out in 95, 96, 97, something like that. And uh, I'm in a one man book club with a uh, fat bison proprietor. Matthew Street. Mm -hmm. And we take turns buying the book. So I'll pick a book. I'll order two copies on Amazon, ship one to his house, one to my house. <laughs> we start the book. Then he'll do the same. It's his turn to pick. It's his turn to buy. Yeah. Yep. Back and forth. We're reading the Marilyn Manson autobiography, A Long Hard Road Out of Hell. Mm -hmm. And when I was a kid, I remember reading it and just being like, Whoa. Oh, it was the Bible. Oh, my. I mean, it's pretty debaucherous. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that a word? Yes. Okay, great. Going back and reading it now, though, so fucking corny. Yeah. Like, it's like, how bad do you want to be Jim Morrison? Like, <laughs> come on, dude. Dude, anybody who, like, strives to be like him, like, they suck. I've like I've met one dude that like that was his thing. Like he was like so about Jim Morrison, and he was the lamest dude I'd ever met. <laughs> I think that thought he was so fucking cool. There's definitely a crossover. Venn die. I know we say that a lot on the show, but people who love Jim Morrison and who are total fucking douchebags. Like there's never there's never a Jim Morrison fan that's not a fucking douche and no you're, right. you're not talking like a guy that likes the doors you're talking like no like, idolize no, the dude grows his hair out and like wears the shirt on butt stands and, like, like this a lot yeah, yeah. he carries a dove around yeah. for yeah. no he's reason all the time and he, he, 
They're not a cover band, but he always had a thing <laughs> like this. Uh, so, it's, it, what it looks like, so Peter Gabriel left in 75. So okay. the next record was um, Wind and Wuthering. Weather, Wuthering? Okay. So All right. Yeah, I believe that would That's be the first. Nice. It took him a while to come up with that clever, and then there were three. Yeah. Like, man, we already got this one recorded. Yeah. It's being mixed right now. The yeah. next one. The next right. one. Even though there were that. already three on the one before, this yeah. is when we're making it official. <laughs> yeah. We're putting it in the title. So, oh, yeah. I, I always love seeing bands, especially, you know, bands like Genesis, big bands that have tons of tons of albums. Th this is our first EP, and we had the hardest time trying to name it. As with anything, you know, picking a band name, picking picking album names is, you know, oh, so important. When all of a sudden you're 11 albums in, like, how do you not just, like, shoot Call yourself in the head one? every single time? Like, well, here's a fucking another one, guys. I like, think that's you. what happened to Led Zeppelin. They're like, yeah. four, yeah. four, it'll be four, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> like, on we, to the next one. We joked one of the working titles for, for Smoke, because you know, we're clams with a K and a Z, and we, we joked about calling it with a K and a Z, kind of like Leonard Skinner's first album was pronounced Leonard Skinner. Mm -hmm. And then Houston made the comment. He's like, let's call it pronounced Leonard Skinner. Claims pronounced Leonard uh, yeah, Skinner. I like that. I like it. Yeah. That was almost, almost the title of our yeah. first EP. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad you went with, with Smoke and Mirrors. I think that's a good choice, man. So I just got back from Chicago Ooh, yesterday. Uh, it was my second time there. Yeah. Do you have a dog? Dude, okay, we got to get into this. So the first time I went to Chicago, I was only there for one night. I was on my way up to Fort Wayne, Indiana, and we missed our <laughs> connecting flight, so we had to stay there for a night. Yeah. So we landed, got some food, got a hotel, went to bed because the next flight was leaving at like 5 a.m. the next morning. So we're like, all right, we're going to get out of here. So I got to go back and do it proper this time. Yeah. To answer your question, I did have a classic Chicago dag. Can I ask yeah. you, where did you uh, procure this uh, delicacy? So we were staying on the Magnificent Mile, and then right down there where all the shopping is, like uh, the Nike store and Burberry and Coach yeah. and all that crazy shit down there. It was right down there. So it was downtown at a little place called Downtown Dogs. Ooh, okay. yeah. It, was, it had a dog motif. Did it have a Z? No, oh, damn! I want to keep the trend going. <laughs> no, it's just one of those. It's probably one of the restaurants that uh, they're usually not open on the weekends because there's no business downtown because it's all offices, right? So no, no, this was like the shopping area though, yeah. and it was it was oh, okay. popping. I ate it on um, Sunday actually. We went down and and did a little shopping in downtown Chicago. Ooh. Had to get some clothes. Yeah. Had to bring back something for the ladies. You swing by our favorite president's uh, building. Yes, we did. And you know what I did? I stood in front of it and I held my camera and I hold on, I took it off live mode. Okay, make sure the flash is off. I look around and then I flipped it off and I took a picture of my finger, man, because fuck Trump. <laughs> I thought you were about to say I looked at the building, I walked up to it and then I jerked off at yes, <laughs> jerked off at, at Trump Towers. I don't want to come on Trump. I just don't. Yeah. No, at. It. Remember oh, at. at. Yeah. 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 On, yeah. on means you care. Yeah. Yeah. On means you care. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. when I came upon my lady. <laughs> so how was your how was your dog? Okay, man, the dog was fantastic. It was the first time I ever had a real Chicago dog. And what makes up a Chicago dog? Well, it had a delicious it was called the over the flame dog. Oh and it was uh <laughs> cooked over flame, oddly kiss. enough. Yeah. Flame oh, kiss. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mwah. Um, yeah, just, mm. and, and it had a pickle, mm. it had a pepper, mm. nice. it had, let's see what else to have. It had mustard. Nice. It had tomato. Okay. Had relish. And then the bun. Pickle and relish? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, dude. And, I mean, it was a nuts. fat, dude, it was a fat dog. And, uh, it was on a beautiful bun. It was like an onion bun or? Like it a was a poppy seed. Yeah, poppy Ooh, seed. Poppy seed. Ooh, nice. And then uh, for my side, I got some cheddar fries. Ooh, and I mean, nice. the dude squeezed the cheddar out of what looked like a huge, like, mustard container. Yeah. Because he forgot my... <laughs> he, he, I'm sure the sound he made it. totally made that sound, <laughs> that exact sound. He, he, he forgot the kid's cheddar. So I had to go back up and be like, hey, man, cheddar me, bro. <laughs> and he goes, oh, man, sorry, I forget that all the time. And he turned around, and he just went... <laughs> and just cheddared me up dude cheddared at me and uh, so i had that the night before i went for work and i was traveling with my boss and he had some family in town so i said hey man saturday night you go do your family thing you catch up i'm just gonna find my own thing to get into the kids yeah. got the town to crawl Ooh. which i did not uh -huh. i walked a few blocks ate food came home <laughs> got stoned and went to bed <laughs> i had to be up very early every morning yeah, yeah. um 
And it was raining a little bit. So I go and I get some classic deep dish pizza. Okay. Never had it before. Not, not a, even not a, a variant. Fan. So I'm not, not a, a fan. fan. I'm not, a not fan. for you. The Chicago Kid, two Chicago delicacies in one one day? Uh, two or the days. next day? One night okay. and then the next day. Took a brick shit when I got home oh, yesterday. Yeah. How was a deep dish? So I got a mini one. Uh, there was this little pizza a place. Pants. Yeah. I believe they called it the individual. Ooh. So Ooh, okay. I go out. This is Saturday night. And a it's a it's, fucking place. It, yeah. And it, it was like <laughs> not that cold out. Right. And it wasn't raining. So everybody was out. And uh, I pop in and I'm by, my, I'm by <coughs> myself. I'm lone wolf in it. Right. In Chicago. Mm -hmm. And. I walk into this place. I mean, it's packed and there are people waiting reservations, it's just this little tiny underground hole in the wall in this beautiful old building. And I walk up and I was like, oh, I think the Chicago kid is going to get lucky tonight. He's by himself. So I was like, hey, you got any you know, seats for one? Do you have a bar? And she's like, there's one spot left at the Ooh, bar. Nice. I saunter Score. on over. You're bellied on up as they I, say. I bellied up. I hopped up. I ordered my za. It was wonderful because I'd never had it. Now, could I eat yeah. that shit all the time? No. Nah. But it was very good and uh, had a great time. It's like a bread bowl soup of cheese. Yeah. I kept calling it pizza yeah. soup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that's pretty yeah. much what it is. Have you had, so there's the Chicago deep dish, and then the other Chicago pizza is is like what, what Domino's calls thin crust. Super, super thin and crispy, almost cracker-like crust with all your toppings, and they cut it. Uh, and squares. In squares. No, yeah. I haven't had that. I didn't have see. That that's something I didn't realize is Chicago style till we were out in Vegas this last year. Uh, and uh, on the menu, it was like you know Chicago deep dish, and then Chicago crust. And I was like, wait, what is this? And it was explained by a friend. It's like, oh no, it's the best. It's it's like thin crust, and oh, like I shit. grew up on Domino's thin crust. That's yeah. my mom's thing. So I was like, mm -hmm. all right, and Dude, that I can dig. <laughs> Mark, deep dish i'm not a huge fan of no but. it's 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 squishy it's i like to be able to pick it i don't want to eat it with the yeah fork. I, I did eat it with the fork oh. you have to yeah did you fork? get a beer did you get an ice cold beer i did not get a beer <laughs> no i didn't drink on the trip Good uh, you. you gotta have an old style you i know you know I, I thought about it and i was like man if i even look at a beer these days i get a fucking hangover <laughs> so i didn't uh and then last night in town we go out to a really nice steak a steak restaurant is that what they call that it was called yeah. steak house was it ruth's chris no <laughs> no a little place called outback you oh, yeah been? no it's uh yeah, you ever been it's this really nice <laughs> hey, there's no rules just right <laughs> fucking wow. nailed it yeah. yeah it's not even their slogan anymore but you <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is now mm -hmm. eh. <laughs> Well, I mean, we have steak. I, we have, like steak, I guess. Yeah. We bloom and onions, all right. We yeah. went to a place called Steak Forty Eight, and it was like this fancy fucking restaurant. And for the first time in my life, I had oysters, and I got them, man. Can I think I, I ate like ten. What'd you think? I fucking love. I'm them. very yeah. curious because you said fancy <laughs> and oysters, and I know Robbie is a man of leisure when it comes to his wardrobe. What did you wear to this fancy oh. restaurant? I'll show you. Ooh. I actually took a selfie to send to my girl. I was like, if this doesn't get her wet in the britches, nothing ever will. You know what I'm <laughs> Let's see. Oh, did I delete it? Uh, I might have deleted. But were you dressed? Uh, I was dressed to okay. impress. Yeah. I uh, I had all kinds of good I clothes on. I wonder if you on. came in with like a Nef beanie, like a 311 t-shirt, and like joggers. Oh, here like, we go. Hey. It, was in, it was in my recently deleted. Oysters. You look oh, yeah. good. Uh, right. That's some steakhouse really attire. Nice. Yeah. It was what I could call together from my from my suitcase. It, but yeah, I did I did dress up a bit. I they do call me the jogger kid most of the time. It is my <laughs> it really lets the nuts hang. Yeah. Let you breathe. It's great. You know what that looked like to me? What? The after photo uh, of the dudes uh, who get made over on Queer Eye. Like, hey, there you go. Yeah, it was like before Neff Beanie 311 mm -hmm. shirt job. After, after, just do the French tuck nice, in the front. nice little plaid shirt, yeah. denim, denim jacket, some Doc Martens, skin tight jeans, some Doc Martens. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's still you. Well, that's right. that's the look, you know, because they give you like what three or four different looks. Like, here's your, here's your going to the gym, your, your comfortable casual. Here's, mm -hmm. here's your if you want to be like that, you know, moderately fancy. And then they give you like, you know, a suit. Right. Yeah. That, that was my oyster wear. Yeah, that's like the in between. <laughs> oyster wear? Oyster have, you been, wear. have you been watching the latest? Creed I Island? haven't seen it yet. No, I need to watch it. It's I, wonderful. I loved I loved the original stuff. I really yeah. did. I just, man, there's there's so much out there now. 
mm-hmm. and we have we have subscriptions to all of it you know hulu netflix amazon like all this all the shit and it's overwhelming man it's option it is. paralysis it's is what many. they call well, it and, and and it's you know every single person i know tells you to watch you know just just now it's like have you watched this one you know and so it's there's so much you can't, you know. You try to give an internal memo, and you're like, "Oh, oh man, what was? Oh, that, yeah, my. You know, someone told me about that a fucking month ago. I guess I should probably yeah. check it out. I do that on Spotify too, yeah. albums oh, and stuff dude. like that. You know, I just have, I have a dump playlist. It's when I shit, I listen to it. No, I just when somebody tells me about something, I grab it and mm-hmm. I pop it in that playlist. Yeah, so I need to, that way I don't I forget need to it. Start yeah. doing that. That's a good idea. I like to hit him with the real obscure shit though. When it comes to TV, I'm like, man, you see Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> Dude sat on his nuts. <laughs> Fucking great, dude. <laughs> well, no, we talked before. He you did said, you talked before about the Marilyn nuts. Manson uh, biography. Uh, we've talked about bands and music and shit. Uh, the, another book I think you guys read was Motley Crue's The Dirt. Yes. Oh, yeah. Speaking of streaming I need to, things, I need to see that. Yep. Same. Who is it good? Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's a no. No. Here's the thing. <laughs> it was surprisingly highly entertaining. Nice. For a movie that I look at it and go, well, these guys clearly look nothing like any of the guys. And yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the rapper Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, playing Tommy, playing Tommy Lee. Lee. Wait, what? But dude, it was... Oh, it's not even them in it? So it's no. it's a movie. It's a movie. It's a biopic. More so than, it's it, a biopic okay, about more so than it is a documentary. Okay. Allah, we... Uh, uh, what the fuck? Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian yeah. oh, okay, yeah, Rhapsody. Yeah. Bohemian yeah, yeah. Rhapsody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I renamed the movie. Are you guys excited for... Uh, what is it, Rocket Man, the new Elton John? Oh, oh yeah, dude. I, when did, when did are this... you? You sound I, like you I are. Am. Okay, I am. I love okay. Taron Egerton. Okay. And 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 uh, saw a video the other day of him like in the studio. He's mm-hmm. actually singing the songs. Okay. He's like, I th- I think I'm excited to see it. Who's playing Bernie Toppin? That's all I need to know. I'm, I'm not good with names. Dude, who wrote the fucking song? I'll yeah, give it a know. I'll give it a spin. The DVD. Yeah, yeah. I'm like most of the time the we. I don't, think, <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a DVD. It'll be a digital release. I don't it'll, think it's so, going to go to theaters. Would it? Oh no, um, yeah, it, yeah, dude. It's like after Bohemian Rhapsody winning Grammys and shit. Or mm-hmm. now, did you see Oscars, that? I saw that. How see, was we, it? I I liked it. Okay, from a movie standpoint, not being you know, it's a biopic. It's not a documentary. I really did like it. There was you know the inconsist- inconsistencies with like timeline and shit right. Like that, sure, that, they're gonna do that. Which it's like all right, they're um, they're trying to make a movie and make a lot of money and make it did. entertaining right. and fun and. But it was shot really well visually. It was awesome. Cool. I thought the guys that played the members of Queen did a really good job. They all looked the part. And now, would you say the, the same for the dirt? Uh. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think the guy, the the only dude that looks, I mean, Machine Gun Kelly did kind of look like a young Tommy Lee, but he could not. So when they, that's the thing about musical biopics. How is his dick? Is the, how, how are you going to look pretending to play that instrument? And yeah. if you're pretending to be Tommy Lee, who's like, arguably Flashy one of like the best. And, and, yeah. yeah. But he's playing like he doesn't know how to play, ever play drums. The oh, kid yeah. playing, I'm like, dude, you can't do you that. You think a rapper would have some rhythm. Yeah. Well, it's also machine gun killing. Yeah. Um, that boom. was the cool thing with with Bohemian Rhapsody. Is like mm-hmm. you know, like they, Didn't they like, actually play the songs. I don't. I don't think they did. Hmm. Um, but like, like there was like a little behind the scenes thing, and it was like during the scene when they're recording Bohemian Rhapsody, the song, and uh, Brian May was actually there in this actual studio. Wow, and actually recorded the guitar solo. And That's he, you know, cool. did it yeah. just like Brian May and the actor that played him is literally just standing there, like just you know, watching it, like studying it. And dude, they pulled off mannerisms and stuff like that so well. And like after after he plays the solo, like of course everyone's dumbfounded because they're in a studio with Brian May and he just played one of the most popular guitar mm-hmm. solos for them. of all time. Yeah, yeah. For them. Yeah. yeah, and he just played it in a studio. And so the guy literally is just like, Wow. But you could tell he was like looking at yeah. everything yeah. he's like i'm trying to nail it so like watching you know of course it was all centered around like the live aid performance and i've seen like a video that like shows the two side by side and like they did the damn thing that's like, awesome i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a chance that yeah. video is a cool one i yeah. saw that too the other day now i've heard that like uh, uh what R- rami malik right is his name i think he sang like a lit like a couple things but for the live a performance, I'm pretty sure I heard it was Adam Lambert. You know who was who sings po- with King? R- yeah, right. or with Queen, not King. King, who was, who I like was, that. Who was <laughs> set up and was? I think they even shot some stuff. Sasha Baron Cohen was supposed yeah. to play, yeah. and it didn't work out. I'm wondering if he got too Boratty with it. Oh, that would have been nice, huh? Nice. You know that, that thing? Nice. That's cool. I, but I, I feel like I feel like if it would have been Sasha Baron Cohen and they could have made it a rated R movie. Mm-hmm. It, 
it probably it it wouldn't they could probably tell the story the way it should be because no. I mean you know it's got to be a rated. R I don't know. I feel like there's right. so that was a many, hard thing. There's just know? so many biopics, and they were a thing there for a while. It was like Ray and Walk the Line, or yeah. Walk Walk the Line, Walk Hard, not Walk Hard, yeah, Walk Hard, yeah, Walk the Line, yeah, yeah. Walk the Line. <laughs> walk Hard was way better than Walk oh, the Line. I love oh that movie. So I just saw much. that for the first time like three months ago. So, so good, but yeah, that's but that's so how popular incredible. they were that they made a spoof movie about biopics, and now yeah. they're coming right back yeah. around. Like um, Jamie Foxx is playing. Uh, Fucking, he's doing another Mike Tyson. one. He's doing another biopic. He's doing a Mike Tyson biopic. Jeez. Eventually, Jamie Foxx is going to play Jamie Foxx in the Jamie Foxx biopic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a spoof of the Jamie Foxx biopic. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. I watched uh, Lords of Chaos today. See, yeah. I need to see that one. And uh, so I like black metal. Um, I I read a lot of backlash about that movie. Because, you know, the purists out there were like, oh, this isn't accurate. Why did they pick a Jewish person to play Varg and all this stuff? And I was like, dude, I ain't that hardcore. I just want to watch an entertaining movie. Yeah. It's not a He's biopic. It's not a documentary. Yeah. yeah. It's just an actor. He's a fucking placeholder, you ass. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Well, he's Jewish. Tight. It's, um, it's the same people that go, why is it woman? It's Marvel or whatever yeah, that movie is. Yeah. that yeah. just came. It's like, f- just watch it or don't. Yeah. yeah. Fuck off. I thought it was great, though. I got <laughs> I actually I'm I'm being a little facetious. I have about 15 minutes left of it. Yeah. I had to turn it off when the little one came home. Yeah. Uh, spoiler huh. alert. The suicide scene. Ooh. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah Holy bet. shit. That was the most grotesque thing I've seen on I my television. I literally covered Wait my eyes. And I watch weird shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Literally covered my eyes. Yeah. Have Dude. you read the the book? Lords yeah. Oh, yeah. Lords of Chaos? Oh, yeah. That Jack is reading through it right now. Mm-hmm. And like we were closing down the bar the other day and he's telling me about it. He's like, dude, he's like, I had to stop reading it the other day. He's like, I had to put it down. There's some like brutal shit in there. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's shot well. It's made well. I feel like the, the old Culkin. <laughs> Young mm-hmm. Culkin, Culkin, yeah, he Rory. did a great job. Like yeah. I thought that was cool. I, I there's just enough music in it to keep you like into it without it being like oh another performance, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. we don't want a tour video. Speaking of yeah. music in in movies, the other day at the bar, Jeremiah, our bar back, overheard somebody go, "Yeah, I saw Bohemian Rhapsody. I thought the soundtrack was really good." <laughs> oh my God. That's a funny joke. Wow, like. And I'm pretty, and he was like, I'm pretty sure that person just said that like seriously. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I mean, there's nothing in that movie but Queen songs. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's like a like, Stephen Wright joke. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's a movie about the people who wrote We Will Rock You and <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody and We Are the Champions and Under Pressure. Yeah. Another and one bites the dust. Bicycle. Fat bottom yeah. girl. And Ooh. So many good songs. All of those. Yeah. The There's a reason why I could yeah. so, talk about yeah. albums like. It's a good one. That's why Led Zeppelin called it one, two, or two, three, four. That's yeah. why. We're having a good time. We're yeah. having a good time. Queens. Uh, what was the Night of the Opera? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then it's just a bunch of fucking basically greatest hits type things. And they all have that same kind of iconic logo. Like Weezer. Co- a color. Not even a name. Yeah. Just, Blue. Green. Blue, green, and whatever the new shitty one is. Well, it's like a Metallica Black Album. Like, it took me forever to realize that it wasn't called the Black Album, that mm-hmm. it was self-titled. Right. But people called it the just like the Beatles, the White Album. Mm-hmm. It's like I'd never, when I was younger, you know, up until, you know, probably 20 when I, you know, discovered these things way late in life. And it's like, oh, wait, it wasn't just called the White Album. No, it was literally the it White just, Album. It was white. <laughs> the Black Album. Well, it's like on, on Spinal Tap. It's like. None How much black. more black could this be? And the answer is none. None, none more black. <laughs> so what would what would mirrors be called? What would mirrors be lovingly referred to? Like the reflective album? Yeah, we, we're really the especially coke dusted album. Especially doing a cassette, we're we're probably gonna try to go like metallic and super eighties, like Miami nice. Vice. Yeah. We're gonna do a lot of hot pink and purple and and it needs like, to be like a and... grid on there or something. Oh, so yeah, too. I was thinking you're gonna do the same thing that you did with the the cigarette one and make it where the case is actual like a mirror we've we've talked about that too i mean we you know we haven't even we haven't even gotten the tracks back on it so we're we're trying to figure out and we want to you know we, we've got this like you know logo made and so we want to like do something with that making it reflective mm-hmm. or like even if it's just like sure. you know, you, making it silver or whatever yeah, but. you make it like uh like look like a mirror and then just have clams and white like, oh like chopped up yeah like, that'd be sick yeah, that Genius. might that might be the way to go. Yeah, or we were thinking so the 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 Queen album, the game. Mm-hmm. On when you look at pictures of it, 
Let's see. It yeah. looks gray, but when you actually had a copy of it, like Jack has a copy of that on vinyl, uh -huh. it's literally metallic. Oh, it's that's sweet. It's, so I'm like, yeah, Dang. it's awesome looking. So I'm like, that's what we need to try to do is make something like that's literally chrome. Yeah. Would be really cool. Yeah, that'd be dope. You know what you should do, man? You just put it on and let the music decide. Yeah. You know? That's what I do. I like that. That's how I live every day. That's how I name these episodes. I just listen to it on repeat for about 48 hours. This one will be Puppy Diarrhea. <laughs> and uh, oh, I've got a good list going over here. So. <laughs> puppy, puppy Diarrhea a couple of possibilities. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Paragraph. Yeah. So you guys have a EP release show this Saturday. If you're listening to it, we drop this on Friday. This will be so yeah, Friday the Thursday 29th. Thursday on YouTube. Yeah. Thursday on YouTube. 30th. Th yeah. March 30th, 30th at the Blue Note. With, uh, uh, we've got Hang Dangerously. Uh, and Dire Gnome opening up. Some good buddies of us. Hang Dangerously. Is that one of the Garrett? No, things? this is uh, Owen Greenwood's new band. Oh, newer yeah. Band. They've, they've only, they, I think they played their first show actually with us at Lost Highway. I want to say back in like October, maybe. They're yeah, still pretty new. I was at that show. They played the Speakeasy not too long ago, too. Yeah. They, uh, man, I love Owen. He's a sweetie. He's such a great, great dude. Guy. So yeah, check that out if you're uh, if you're out and about this weekend. Check yeah. This, uh, now is this going to be online anywhere? We yeah, we're gonna. I think we're gonna drop it like at midnight on the thirtieth. Um, and where could people find that at? I know for a fact we're going to have it on Bandcamp, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's, I didn't I didn't set it up. Houston did, so I'm but I'm pretty sure it's going to be on like iTunes and Amazon. I'm pretty sure Spotify, but. Um, yeah. I'm so not. yeah. So uh, wait at midnight on Friday. Stay yeah. up. Stay up. Yeah. Listen to it. Get some of that. Learn the words yeah. to the songs. Then yeah. you go to the show. Have then, your own little karaoke in the crowd. Yeah. Exactly. Nice. Oh, life, I'm, life is karaoke. Man, man, I'm still hung up on this karaoke. I know we got to wrap up here in a few minutes. Yeah. But you know, we don't have to name any names. But what's a memorable karaoke hosting moment like when somebody just fucked up or died man, or <laughs> shit? The, is there anything that sticks out in your mind like one a of, horror story one of the funniest ones my buddy grizz uh he and i would sing taylor swift's blank space and we were at the pump on the patio and you know there's gravel all over that patio and mm -hmm. it's not just gravel like it's granite yeah gravel hard shit and Grizz every time, you know, when we were at the Blue Note on stage, she always, at, you know, at the, the the climax of the song, if you will, when she goes and hits that high note, he, you know, slide on his knees. Oh. He, oh. he did that at the pump on the gravel, God. tore a giant hole in his pants and like bloodied up his knee. Kept on going. Didn't, did you know, he, I was going to say, did didn't he finish care? the oh, song? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Real champ. He uh, made it through and, and like, as soon as it's done, I'm pretty sure I did it as like the last song of the evening. So it was getting, you know, we, and so I was like, why not? Me and him will sing it last song in the evening. So of course in his mind, he's also like, I'm going out with a bang. And so like afterwards, you know, I'm starting to break down. He's like, yeah, that probably wasn't the smartest idea. He's <laughs> like, he's limping. He's like, yeah. He's like, I was so in the mo in the mood and in the mm. mode of like, all right, now it's time for the knee slide. Like at the blue note. And he was like, it, he was like, it slowed down. And as soon as I go to start sliding, I remembered, oh shit, that's gravel. Oh. Like, no, well, it, it's that part of the set. You know, this is where I do the, the jump. This is where yeah. I do the slide. I got to do exactly. it. Exactly. Signature move. It's like, it's like reflex at that point. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's ingrained. The coolest part about, the funnest part about karaoke is seeing the, uh, the surprisers. So like, you know, you see tiny little Asian guy come up. And he's like, I want to sing Whitney Houston. And, I'm, and in my head, I'm like, hey, you know, whatever. Yeah. Have a good time. And I'm just sitting there thinking like, I wonder how this is going to be. And then all of a sudden he gets up and just yeah. kills it. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, holy crap, Jonathan, you are one of the greatest singers I've ever heard. <laughs> Why aren't you doing this all the time? Yeah. You know, yeah. or, you know, it's there's there's so many highs and lows. I've, I've been blessed, if you will. Like, I've got a pretty pretty good group of like decent singers i don't ever yeah. really have too many awful singers i think i met jack at one of your karaoke at the balloon at a while like long time ago and he did a song and I he got off stage like dude i did that with that guy like drunk girl like you gotta sing in a fucking band dude oh you're like, that, guy? Nice. that guy oh i've been that guy because he was so good like yeah. he fucking nailed it man dude, dude i miss oh. jack i haven't he, seen that dude in forever yeah I used to he, see him he really wanted to come today but he was uh he's working but uh that's the funny thing, especially Jack with karaoke. You know, he's been 
doing karaoke with me since I've been hosting. He's one of my best friends and he does look a little bit like Freddie Mercury and he okay. does sing Queen quite frequently. So it's so Sweet. funny when he's, you know, got his hair kind of trimmed up and if he's got the stash and he'll sing like any Queen song that he does, like it's hilarious watching just random people in the <laughs> bar walk up to him and be like, dude, man, you killed that Freddie Mercury. You really, man, you should be in a band, man. You should, and, you and should like, be in a Queen cover band, Yeah, and man. I'll just be sitting there like laughing Don't my ping. ass off internally because I'm... It's just he gets it every time, and it's 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 so funny because he he loves and hates it. You know, he's like, I understand. I look yeah. a little bit like Freddie Mercury. He's like, Queen is one of his favorite bands. He's like, you know, it's just a blessing and a curse. And he does have a good voice. He can nail some of those those high notes and stuff. And it's you know, he's a showman. Yeah. And so it, but it's just so funny because it's always just drunk people just talking his ear off. And you can tell he's just like, God, this is like the thousandth time that I've heard. <laughs> man, you should really be in a queen cover band, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go around the room I here. Love that. Go to karaoke jam. I was just about to oh. do it. Robbie, you read my uh. mind, bro. Uh, my <laughs> go to karaoke jam. It's been a long time. I used to really fucking love going. And every time I did, I did, I believe in a thing called love. Yeah. By the dark. That's a good God, one. Great fucking band. great band. Oh great band, man. Dude, they just released oh. a live album at the yeah. end of last year. And I, Hammersmith. I listened, yeah, yeah, live at Hammersmith. Oh, yeah. I listened to it. Uh, that's been one of my favorite bands since permission to land came out dude mm -hmm. still never seen them i want to see i need to see them yeah. i never got to see them either but i love them like you know i love their first like two albums especially yeah then they got a little less hokey and a silly weird yeah but i loved one way ticket to hell and back oh, there's yeah. so many bangers on there like bald yeah or girl with the hazel eyes yeah dude, dude, that, that intro guitar riff yes, the, do, 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 do. let's yes. do it together ready here yeah. we go do, 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 Okay, because it's harmonized. Yeah, you know, it's, it's really pretty. We did not, but it was really good. Uh, <laughs> that album, dude. There's so many rippers yeah. on there. And have you listened to Pinewood uh, Smile? Yeah. Oh, I, I like, dude. I like all of them, but I really love that they yeah. came out at this time in my life where oh, I was yeah. just eating that shit. When out, I man. When, when I first heard Pinewood Smile, you know, it came out in like 2017, like middle of the year. That's the one with all the pretty girls. Yeah, as a single. Okay, but yeah. like Solid Gold. The first time I heard Solid Gold in that chorus of just we're never gonna stop shitting out Solid Gold. I was like, they're back. They're fucking back. Yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> the humor is just a little less on the nose. Yeah, uh, you know, but, they're they're just I think they finally realized that what they started so many people looked at them as a joke in mm -hmm. 2003 mm -hmm. that, you know, second album they started to just be like, you know what? Yeah, let's feed into this. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you could tell they kind of were like, no, we need to, now we need to be more serious. But dude, what a showman. Dude. And I'm just, I almost said Stephen Hawking, yeah. but that's not it. Ju Justin, Justin Hawking. Hawking yeah. yeah. Steve, I believe Stephen in a Hawking thing called love. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> he have the Xbox tattooed on his arm with an Xbox controller? He had, no, he has a DX7, a Yamaha oh, DX7 okay. tattoo. Well, I don't know why I thought Xbox DX7. I think that would be even fucking cooler. What a trashy just tattoo. Just Xbox. <laughs> with an Xbox One controller. <laughs> no, just an nice. original Xbox, like that one right back there. Just oh, Xbox. Right there. Even, even the clear. Dude, yeah. someone's got it. I bet if you Googled it. What's your go-to karaoke jam? As a host, you probably have a bunch. Yeah, mine... One that I literally I love doing every single time I mentioned earlier, and I finally remembered who it was. It's The Stroke by Billy Squire. Billy I Squire. love that song. Because that song, almost everybody forgets about it, but it's so simple and with the, you know, the stroke. And there's the, stroke. The, the, it gets the crowd stroke. into it. And I love it so much because it, 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 that slapback snare too. Dude, dude yeah. And that, and that riff. Oh, yeah. The bam, riff bam, is great, bam, but it reminds bam, me of bam. Billy Madison, one of my That's favorite the movies. First time I ever heard it was that. Yeah. He was pulling up to high, his first day of high school, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, pulls up in his fucking T-bird. Yeah. Rips open his jacket with that Ario Speedwagon yeah. baseball tee on with yeah. the stroke blaring. I'm like, I want to be that guy. Oh, really? <laughs> and everybody else is like, you're lame. I'm like, no, no. that's exactly not what I'm to me. I'm not. <laughs> what about you, Dylan? Yeah. Um, I really like singing Tenacious D. Yeah. <laughs> like... Uh, you're good at it. That's the karaoke jam that yeah. I got. Like, and typically most people love it and we'll sing along yeah yeah I have, i've heard a lot of fucker hard is that what it's called fucker yeah, gently, fuck her gently. gently. Mm -hmm. i've heard that one done a lot or they, they do like those like or wonder boy i'm like nah dude you gotta go deep in the fucking vault well, on there's not no, much th out there you know that's, that's the hard the, thing that's from their first record though yeah but that but it but that's like those are hits those are though. the hits oh you yeah, like, yeah yeah but those are from the first Can't album but they're from South later on and there you go butt cheeks is warm there you go yeah get some of those well that's the hard thing with karaoke though is a lot of people come up and be like man you know 
or the deep cuts. It's like th- that doesn't That's, make karaoke company it's money no. you know no. well, it's got to be hits cut. unfortunately you yeah. know those two songs weren't only hits they were new songs everything else on that were old songs from the old tv show that's I would, what i'm saying. yeah i would go up to the karaoke host and be like do you have the hidden track from the second mars volta album <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine like a midi version of any of their songs that'd be like the worst thing ever yeah it would just sound like you pressed all the keys at the right. same time oh, oh. The, the worst midi track that i've i've found you know, I've, I've, I was gifted a hard drive, so I have like 119,000 different files. So I haven't even like scratched Sweet. the surface with like different stuff. But uh, I was getting real into Blue Oyster, Blue Oyster Cult a couple yeah. of years ago. And I like look in my list and I saw that I had Godzilla. And I was like, hell yeah, that's a great song. That's awesome. And no. Oh, oh this was good. like this song, this track, this karaoke track was created on a Nintendo 64. <laughs> or no, a Super Nintendo. Did it sound like... like- there was a, the what was that shit back in like the late nineties, early two thousands? The cell phone ringtone commercial, right. oh, <laughs> basically. Oh, and yeah. Crazy like, frog. So the, yeah. the the fucked up thing was though, it's like I was singing it, and it was at the blue note. So like I I set up my table in front of the stage, so I press play, and then I run up on stage to start singing. So I'm already up on stage, committed, and then the track clicks in, and I'm just like, mm, I really no don't want to do this anymore. What yeah. have I done? But no. I was like, well, I've got to commit. I'm already up you here. You had to sell it, dude. Yeah, and so I'm I'm singing it, and then it gets to the solo. Oh boy! Oh my that, god! That's it was stop yourself. You can you go. I literally like, look off into a corner and just hold the microphone and just start shaking your head. Yeah. Like, I literally I'm apologized sorry. to everybody. I was like, I'm sorry that you guys are having to listen to this. I'd never heard this track before. Like, I don't preview them before. Like, I right. don't, you know, yeah. I'd leave my computer in my bag when I'm not doing Wait. karaoke, and and it was it was rough. You haven't listened to 119,000 songs start to finish. Um, <laughs> fuck's wrong. With you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you got to master I, your craft. Although I probably do need to start going through some of them because you know computers and and. And shit like that. Like I do have corrupted files. Like some are like mislabeled. It's like yeah. downloading shit off Napster. You know, oh, it yeah. says that it's you know "Smoke on the Water" by Deep Purple, but it's actually you know "Breakfast at Tiffany's." It's like it's I should go through, but yeah, when I start thinking of oh no, this is a hundred and nineteen. Th- uh, no, I'm not doing that on a Saturday, man. <laughs> what the uh, <laughs> fuck? That. Like, the last thing I want to do is hear karaoke tracks when I'm not at work. Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah, because it's not like you're you know putting on a record it's you're listening to the shittiest version of all the songs you've ever heard like yeah. you're just listening to the bad version of there's it. so many it's funny how many songs i only know the karaoke version of oh like i've never actually heard them mm. like uh an example uh international players anthem by outcast mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i heard that for the first time through karaoke i had a couple regulars that would sing it all the time i learned every single word to that song by all my friends singing at karaoke. First time I heard it, I was like working at, behind the bar at the bunker. All of a sudden it comes on and I'm like singing every word. <laughs> and like this person looks at me like from the other side of the bar and I was like, man, big fan. You, you know all this. You're a big fan. I'm like, this is actually the first time I've heard this song. And they just, that <laughs> smart. They, they just look at me like, what? I'm like, no, I've heard the karaoke version about a hundred times, but this is straight. And then like, it was like an epiphany. I was like, holy crap. This is the first time I've actually heard Outkast doing this song. It's weird. That is weird. Because some of the tracks are done really well. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Karaoke some technology has really advanced in the yeah. last 20 years. It used to sound like MIDI or yeah. just like bad. But sometimes you'll you'll go now and you'll be like, damn, this is pretty spot but on. But they yeah. still have the fucking screens that's just like Matrix style with <laughs> yeah. the little dot. No, man, make fancy it up. Looks like the intro to Doogie Hauser where yeah. he's typing on his computer. It's like, bro, come on. Like, how about some Oculus Rift? Oh, fucking dude, karaoke. The, the best, really make you look like an idiot. The up best there. one. There's this, there's this company that I have several songs with that you can tell they're like from the eighties or nineties, mm-hmm. like okay quality music. But on the screen, when you're not singing, instead of just putting like 16 measure musical break, they try to put pictures. So like one like song that I know saver? kind of <laughs> like goes to the corners and bink, <laughs> but like, so it's loco- like a bear eating a fish, like oh, locomotive boom, breath stream. by, by Jethro Tull. Uh-huh. Uh, it shows just a bunch of pictures of trains. Oh, no. It, but it's not like actual like <laughs> photos taken with a camera. They're like not quite clip art, like a little better quality oh, than clip art. No. And they're like faded in with like those weird like screen transitions or and shit. Star wipe or and, a page peel. And it's yeah. And it's oh. you're just sitting there 
And like, you know, not, not only is it on the screen for the person, like I have it on my computer screen too. So like people are looking at me like, dude, what is this on the screen? I'm like, I didn't make I this didn't track. Like, it. yeah, he like, must really like trains. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the first time I've ever seen a train or like te- likes trains. <laughs> tequila, the tequila song, the, oh the one version that I have plays just dumb pictures of just people like in a bar, super like stock photos, like cheersing and taking shots. And like, <sighs> tequila is the worst karaoke song because it's one word three times, three times times wait have people done that oh yeah there was a video came out on facebook yeah. like like a couple months ago and then all of a sudden it was like oh this is now a thing oh, again yep. it's happened a couple times over the years the funniest thing is when people are like dude let me sing tequila my buddies are trying to get me to sing karaoke this is the easiest song ever and then they miss it right <laughs> <laughs> you feel like, like a how do you not know tequila yeah yeah it's like that's the the, damn it. <laughs> it's ingrained in our heads yeah, you know, you know it. this, but it's 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 so funny when somebody misses it uh, <laughs> i would feel like a real wiener if i was up there singing karaoke and i had to look at pictures of trains oh boy Dude, I it's like, pretty cheesy Ugh. so i yeah i you said you heard that uh or you said the first time you heard that was through a, a karaoke song right yeah first time i heard uh, t- or, uh from a movie uh tequila's uh peewee herman, Pee-wee right? herman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but i'm like six singing yeah tequila yeah. Oh, yeah what the fuck yeah you didn't you never gave your go-to no i have two uh one was with my buddy lucas we would always duet how far is heaven by the lost lonely boys oh Ooh. okay wow might be a little cheesy but we had a good time we had yeah. voices a deep mm-hmm. cut there man no, well that's not a together that's not a standard you know that's <laughs> no. a, a and then classic. standard yeah and then my second if i was going solo if i was flying solo i would do thunder kiss 65 by white zombie Ooh. that's good. which also is a weird midi version that's yeah. very bad <laughs> i don't i don't have that one on my list but i do love that song ding, 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 one ding, of my ding, first ding, bands ding. we we covered that at our high school fuck yeah like show and it was funny because, you know, I'm playing guitar in this band and I didn't even really know that song. Just my drummer and bass player were like, we're going to cover the song. It's really easy. So like, and I never actually listened to it all the way through. I just listened to enough of it to mm. get our yeah, job done. Because sure. we, we didn't even play the whole song. We just kind of like fucked our way through it. Uh-huh. So like, I, I remember just like being on stage playing this song. And having a moment of like, I don't remember what comes next. Well, I'm just going to keep the dun 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 And it's, and now, you know, I go back and I, I hear that song. I'm like, I can't believe I attempted that <laughs> at 16, 17 years old without even listening to the song. Yeah. yeah. It's like, God, I was an arrogant fucker. <laughs> <laughs> but you did it. Remember yeah. like when we, we did that. Uh, Couldn't be bothered damn to take it. five minutes. We did that damn it cover at the end of the show. For that, uh, uh, the last shot of my Jewish show, and yeah. you're like, I never learned how to play. It's like, dude, it's four chords, literally the same progression the entire fucking song. Just you half cannot, time and regular. You yeah. cannot fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, no possible way to fuck it up. But somehow y'all did. We I did. saw the video on we did. Facebook. Yeah. Ooh, well, boy. we were we were wasted. That's really? Like, yeah. Huh. Do tell. <laughs> Drugs, man. Dr- <laughs> wasted on drugs. Oh, <laughs> drugs. <laughs> drugs. And a, mi- a mixture, a real devil's brew. <laughs> a real smoke and mirrors, if you Ooh. will. Ooh, nice way to bring it back around. Yeah. I went when I was in Chicago. I I did listen to some White Zombie. I was actually with my boss, and we we do we like force music down each other's throats. And for some reason, I brought up White Zombie, and he's like, "I've heard of them. Is that Rob Zombie?" I'm like, "Yeah, it was his band before his solo career." And so we listened to all of the first two albums in a row while we were driving because we took this like hour and a half trip one day. Oh yeah! And he was like, "Okay, the samples are really throwing me off, <laughs> but I like the riffs, I like the drums, great rhythm section." But to hear like "uh uh uh" in right. every song, and then the other thing you point out, there's a lot of "yeah" <laughs> every song. <laughs> that it's kind of like tequila. You just, yeah. yeah, but it's good. Yeah. It's re- I, I plus. Maybe the best fashion sense of any band ever. Really? Day glow, post-apocalyptic metal heads with dreadlocks. Like, yeah. yeah. Pretty fucking sick. I gotta pretty say. sick. A pretty fuck. Any closing thoughts, gentlemen? We're going to wrap it up here. Oh, I'm, uh, you're, you're just going to, we're going to fucking relay a race. I'm going to Chicago yeah. on Thursday. Ooh. So I'll be doing that uh, this weekend while Dude, you guys I wish are we could have show. high-fived at like 35,000 feet <sighs> going across. You know, Did you yeah. stick up any stickies? No, I didn't. I'm I, for, going I to, forgot them. I'm going to stick up some boy stickers Please around do. the Chicago yeah. land area. Do it, do it. <sighs> Baylor, any closing thoughts, man? We we got the plugs in. Yeah, we plugged it. We talked about karaoke. Yeah. We talked about movies. 
man I'm, biopics i'm solid okay you know i think uh I think we did. I think we did the Lord's work here today. You know? I do too. That's what we try and do here. Every <laughs> man, Dylan, yeah. any final thoughts? Uh, it's good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, brother. Um, it's been a minute. It has been. It has been a minute. Um, yeah, I need to see you guys play. I. Uh, I mean, are I you going to come out on Saturday? I can't this Saturday. Um, we'll be we playing the next Sunday at Richards. You should come. Oh, down. really? Yeah. Ooh. At Richards, yeah. dude. My favorite That's little sick. hole in the wall. Uh, that's where I met my wife at Richards. No way. Wow. No. We work huh. with Justin. Okay, yeah. And yeah. Stacey. I love Justin. Yeah, yeah, they're two wonderful people. Yeah. And I knew both of them from Richards long before we worked together. Yeah. And yeah, it was kind of like I our little secret bar. hole in the wall. Oh, yeah. You've got to write a song called I Met My Wife at Richards. Richards Club. Yeah. I love that it's Richards <laughs> One Club. Day. That'll, yeah. that'll be my, that'll yeah. be the song that I write when I'm like 85 on my deathbed. <laughs> yeah. Solo on acoustic. <laughs> yeah. Something about the if queen. I... Were you doing Neil Young? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Bruce Springsteen. All our songs are about partying right now, so it's like if I wrote it yeah. now, it would just turn into a sure. let's get drunk and fuck song, yeah. you know, but For I feel sure. like if it's a song for my wife, you know, this definitely needs to be down the road. Like, yeah, when you go acoustic. I met my wife at Richard's. And is that your storytellers? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll be on MTV Unplugged. You know, and the, the MTV will loop back around and start playing music videos. Oh, again that'd be cool. That's that throwback thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would love that. That would be awesome. Yeah, in the year 2080, we're, we're taking it video? back to the 80s. We're actually, yeah, we're 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 working on it. We uh we wanted to release this, and then we were talking with some of our uh, skate rap buddies. We might make like a skate, skate video. video slash music video. Yeah, kind of cool. I dig that. Um, that's that's happening a lot. Like bands, like they'll release like a single, but it'll be a video with yeah. the singles. It's like it all comes out at the same time, and it gives you a visual because so many people listen to music on YouTube. Why yeah. not give them something to see? As yeah, well? yeah. I and mean, that's but, something we definitely talked about for the Mirrors release. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to spend. I want to. I want to shoot a video for one of the songs on Smoke, and then I think being be proactive and shoot a video for one of the songs on mirrors so that way when we do drop we can Boom. just drop everything all at once like yeah. so saying. smart yeah so smart it's wicked smart totally. wicked well, smart. well baylor it's been awesome yeah, talking been to you man yeah thanks for coming by and we will see you next week yeah. bye